Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble this Mountfield SP164 petrol lawnmower. We're going to get this out of the box, I'm going to show you what's included and the easiest way to set it up. So, if you're not sure if you're going to be able to set one of these up once you've had it delivered, this video is the one for you. So, we'll get started straight away. If you like the video, please leave me a comment in the comments section. So, we'll start. I'm just going to open this box. It says on the top here there's oil not, su not supplied with this lawnmower. The correct oil for these is SAE30 oil and it isn't supplied. You probably need just under half a litre of that. I'll actually link to the correct oil for that in the description of this YouTube video as well. So we'll open this box and we'll have a look in here. And if you look in the top right hand corner of your screen now you'll see a playlist to every single video I've done on this type of lawnmower, this Mountfield SP164. So let's just remove some of this packaging and make a start. So we've got grass bag here, not a box for these, it's actual grass bag that's just tangled around the grass box reflector that's out, I'll show you how to put that together later on this grass box reflector just lifted off we'll take this out of here and the easiest way to get these out of the box is to just slip the box you can see exactly what we've got inside the box so we've got the user guide in here it looks like all we need to do really is just attach the handles and we should be ready to start using this one more. I've just found these actually in here as well. Now the easiest way to get this out of the box if you don't want to lift anything, if you have a bad back or anything, like I do, then the easiest way to do this is just to slip down the back of the box with a knife like this, just in this corner here. You can do this, flatten the box down and you'll be able to feel a lot more straight out. You can see how it all comes out there. Just remove these two handle parts here. Put them there. And you can reverse the whole one more out. Out of the way. And just slide that down there. And remove the box out of the way. That's the easiest way to do it. It just saves you having to lift anything up as well. So that's the one more out of the box. The next thing you need to do is just actually put this bottom part of the handle into the actual lawnmower deck. I just want to show you something that's really quite important in this part here that a lot of people get wrong. I can lean this up because there's no oil in here and there's no fuel, it's okay to lift up. But this handle, you can see here, if I take this back out, this handle is important because it actually goes right down to the bottom of here. A lot of people leave this in and think it just pushes in, but it should go right down to the bottom of here. And there's actually a hole in the handle there, and you can actually get a screw in there and tighten the handle up. Uh, I'll just show you exactly what I mean. I'll show you the other side of it as well. It's great this because there's no oil and a fuel in it. I can tip this up. It's not going to cause a problem. You can see where the belt runs around there at the top. I've done loads of these lawnmowers at the channel. So if you like um, watching this sort of video, please hit the subscribe button. Tick the bell notification. Then you get an email every time I upload a new video. There's the actual transmission box under there. So I'll just film that while I've got the camera under there. But what I want to show you here is the black part in here. This is the actual handle. This actually slides right down here. And the idea is you get the screw that was in the handle and you put that in. We'll just tighten that back up with a screwdriver. We'll do exactly the same at the other side. So this is the top part of the handle. I've not done anything with that yet. This is the bottom part. We've just pushed it down the hole. We're just going to tighten the screw up at the bottom. We've got the screw in there now. And as you can see, it's nice and secure. It's important that you do this because if you try and lift the lawnmower up, to put it on a bench or do any work with it or anything like that and lift the handles up you'll find that they can come out quite easily you could easily end up dropping this on your feet which you don't want to do so you must make sure the handle goes right down here through the deck to the bottom and you actually put this screw in the bottom as well if you're wondering where the screw was it's actually at the bottom of the handle so it's kind of giving you a clue into it and we just drop the handle down here so let's just remove this screw i'll kind of do this live with uh, one hand if i can i need to just undo it with a screwdriver so we'll take this screw out for you, just back that out. And the problem is with these is when you put this in here, it is quite a tight fit. You press it down, people kind of press it down to them and think, oh, that's it. And actually, if you look at the other side, you'll find it goes down like that quite a lot further than people realise. So that's both parts of this bottom handle here. You can see how they don't move about, how they're nice and solid. And I must say, this has come pretty much assembled directly from Mountfield. The only thing you have to do really is put the handle on and put some oil and fuel in this and away you go. I've even All these kids cables are connected and all of this is done for you so if you're wondering if it's going to be too difficult to set up it's really not is it? And all we've got to do I'm just going to attach these top handles to here make sure the cables are out of the way and I'll show you how to do that right now. 
So as I said earlier, the actual handles that go through the top are actually in with the actual owner manual here. So just to make this a little bit easier to film for me, I've just connected the far side up. I'm going to show you exactly what I did, but the opposite side. So we've got the actual handle here that goes through, they've got the bolt, and you'll notice on this side here, it's actually square at that side, and the square side actually matches up with the square hole. If you get such a thing as a square hole, but you know what I mean, on this side, we'll push that through there, just take the washer off. So the square part here actually fits in the square part there, and this goes on the outside. So we're going to put that through there. I'm going to put the washer on, and then there's actually a nut in here, so make sure you don't lose the nut. Just keep tight hold of that with my finger. You should just take it onto the thread there. I should be able to just tighten this up like this. We'll have all the handle nicely connected. So it's really just a case of uh, putting the handle on. And you can see how these go to the inside because this square part only exists on this side. It doesn't exist on the other side of this handle part. So you can't really get it wrong with a little bit of common sense. So I'm going to tighten the other side up. We've got all the handle on. I'm going to clip these cables up using this actual cable tidy here which comes with it that's on the handle. Let's just get these cables here. I'm just going to get these. I'm going to put them in the clip, push the clip back over like that and just slide these into a nice position. And you must watch out if you ever fold these up for storage, you must make sure that these cables don't actually get caught in the actual handle when you flick it over because it damages the cables. And if you're ever having a problem with the self-drive on this particular mower as well, this is adjustable here. So if you pull the handle at the top and you find the self-drive doesn't work, you've got a bit of adjustment on here that might just get you out of trouble. So I just wanted to point that out, but that's the handle on. We've put the screws in at the bottom and put the handles on halfway up. We've used the cable tie here and I've just pointed out this little feature, which do this doesn't come with many lawnmowers. It's a great feature because as the cables stretch in a few years' time, a lot of lawnmowers, you'd have to replace that. And having an adjuster on that cable is a really good feature. The next thing I want to do is actually put the pull cord handle through this little device at the top. And what this does, it saves you bending right down to reach for the pull cord every time you start the lawnmower. And very... Uh, Carefully, Mountfield have left this undone, which is great, so I can actually get my pull cord rope in here. And because I know there's no fuel in here, I'm just going to pull this over. Obviously, it won't start, there's no fuel, no oil. But to do this, you must activate this lever at the top. This releases the brake here, and it makes this pull cord easier to pull up like this. So it's really free. I'm just going to hook this underneath here, let this go, and I'm going to tighten this part up here at the top with a 10mm spanner. You can see I've got the pull cord through here. I'm just going to finish tightening this up and what this does is it just puts this part close to the handle so the pull cord can't come back out and it can't retract all the way back into the starter recoil and a lot of people don't use these you've only got to do this once and then every time you want to start your lawnmower you only need to pull the pull cord from here and as you can see it can't slip back down okay so we're not too far off assembling this mower but a lot of people get this part wrong with the grass box I'm not sure how they do it. This is actually a, a canvas grass bag, which is uh, really nice as well, really lightweight, and obviously falls down a lot smaller when you want to store this away. But these parts must go from the inside of the frame to the outside. So you'll take this part here, and you have to hook it on. It might just take a little bit of time. It can be a little bit fiddly to do, but you've only got to do it once. And you must put all these parts on, must go on from the inside to the outside. So you must hook them upwards like this, and then over the top, you can see there, I've done that with the bottom. Let's try and do the same thing at the side here. It might just take me a few minutes, so I'll just speed up the video while you watch me do this. So there we go, it took me a few minutes to do that, but you can see here how everything snaps nice and tightly over there. You're not getting things blowing through the side of the grass bag that you shouldn't have. So make sure that they go from the inside to the outside like that, especially this bottom one here. So that's what it looks like with this grass bag attached, I'll show you how to put that on as well. Fairly straightforward. I like this design because it's just one solid plastic part here, nothing's going to break off. You just basically lift up the grass box deflector and hook it onto the top there. You can see how solid that is, let go of the grass box deflector and that's the grass bag fitted. You might have noticed as well, this is height adjustable on the wheels here, it's got actual height adjusters on the actual wheels here. There's two on the front which alter the individual ones at the front and there's one at the back which drops the overall height of the back down. If you just move this, you pull it towards you with the thumb like that, you can actually drop it down 
the different heights and what a lot of people do is they leave the front one set up and they just start at the highest height, cut the grass and work their way down to the height that they require cutting it at. And this has actually got five different height selectors at the back which is quite a nice feature as well. Before you start the lawnmower you are going to have to put some oil in here and I'll just repeat what I said earlier, it's SAE30 oil that you need. And it goes in here, this is where you fill the oil up from and I'll show you exactly where it needs to go on this dipstick. You can see on the engine oil dipstick there's actually some lines across here like a, a hexagonal pattern. You need to top your oil up until it's somewhere on this hexagonal pattern, anywhere between the bottom and the top. Somewhere in the middle is ideal. You don't want, obviously you don't want to have not enough in, but having overfilling this is just as bad really. So make sure you just top this up in small amounts. Just keep checking the dipstick again by cleaning it off and putting it back in. Thread it all the way to the bottom, take it out again, take a look where this oil actually sits. And don't try and start the lawnmower, whatever you do, without actually putting some oil in here first. So I really hope this video has helped you out if you're trying to get your SP164 mount field petrol lawnmower set up and assembled. I've got over 300 videos on the channel so if you haven't already please subscribe. In the top right hand corner of your screen now you'll see a link to another video to do with this actual mount field 164 as well. There's loads of videos I've got there as well. You see a card at the end of your screen on the right hand side that's just popping up about now which is a link to the full playlist on every video I've done on the mount field SP164. Any comments or questions, please leave me a comment in the comments section down below. I'll do my best to answer them about this particular machine. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again on the channel next time.